Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about something very important and very interesting as well. That is the angle sum property of a triangle. Now this is a very very important and very basic property of any triangle. And this property says that the sum of the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. That's so surprising, right? It doesn't matter which triangle it is, whether it is an acute angle triangle or it is a right angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle. For any triangle, this is going to hold true. That is, you measure all the three angles, sum them up, it is going to be 180 degrees. You don't trust me? Okay, then let's start measuring angles. So, you take different types of angles, any triangle, any triangle. Let's say here you have this triangle ABC. So, when you measure this angle, this angle and this angle, the sum of angle A, B and C comes out to be 180 degrees. In fact, I want you to try it out for yourself. Uh, open your textbook, look at all the triangles, start measuring them with protractor and you see that the sum of the three angles is always 180 degrees. Any kind of triangle, whether it is, now if you talk about a right angle triangle, so this angle is 90 degrees. So in a right angle triangle, the measure of angle A and angle C is such that the sum of angle A and angle C is also 90 degrees so that the total is 180 degrees. Similarly, you talk about an acute angle or an obtuse angle. So in obtuse angle, this angle is obtuse. So it is like greater than 90 degrees. But at the same time, angle C and angle A are very small. So, so that again, the sum can still remain as 180 degrees. So this is a very basic property of a triangle and a very crucial one as well. In fact, with this, you can also think it in this way that you remember I told you that in a right angle triangle, only one angle can be 90 degree. You can never have a triangle with two angles 90 degree. That's because if two angles are 90 degree, then the sum of two angles will be 180 degree. So what will happen to the third angle? Third angle can't be zero, right? Therefore, you can have only 190 degree in a triangle. So now let us try to prove this that how do, can we say that the sum of three angles is always equal to 180 degrees. So let's assume that we have a triangle ABC. Now for in order to prove this, so what is our aim here? Our aim is to prove that angle, let, let's name these angles as angle 1, let's call this angle 2, and let's call this as angle 3. So we have to prove that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. So for this purpose, what we do is we draw two parallel lines in this way, like such that one pa line passes through the vertex A and the other line passes along the side BC. Let us call these lines as L and M. So we draw these two parallel lines. So once we have drawn these two lines, what do we see? We observe a few more additional angles. Now the moment we have drawn these lines, we have this angle. Let us call this angle as angle 4. Let us call this angle as angle 5. Now what we have done? So as per our construction, we have constructed L and M such that L is parallel to M. Now since L and M are parallel, therefore we can say that angle 4 is equal to angle 2. This is angle 4 and this is angle 2. Can you tell me why? That is because these two are alternate angles. You remember we learned about the alternate angles in our previous lesson that if two lines are parallel and if you have a transversal. So in this case AB is like a transversal for parallel lines L and M and angle 4 and angle 2 are alternate interior angles. So these are alternate angles. So for parallel lines alternate angles are equal. In a similar way, we can say that angle 5 will be equal to angle 3 because these are also alternate angles. Now, one very simple tip to remember or to recognize alternate angle is you will always observe that alternate angles always lie within this Z. So, you have a capital letter Z and one corner of the Z you have one alternate angle and the other corner you have another angle and these two are always alternate angles. So here you see this forms a Z. Here also this forms a Z in, in the reverse direction. 
right so whenever you see this z you tend to have these alternate angles so in this way you can say angle 4 is equal to angle 2 and angle 5 is equal to angle 3 now one interesting observation that we see here is this angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 all of these together form a straight line that is all of these together make 180 degrees so we can say angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they form a straight line and straight line means straight angle which is 180 degrees. Now we have seen that angle 4 is equal to angle 2. So we can write it as angle 2. Now angle 1 we will leave as it is. Angle 5 can be written as angle 3. So what did we get? We found that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So this is what we wanted to prove, right? So we proved that the sum of three angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.